Welcome to Desert Isle Crafting. I'm Christy. How is everyone today? I hope you're having a good day. It's Friday. Um, have any plans for the weekend? I know that I am going to be just straightening up things in my house and um, try to do a little bit of crafting. I guess we'll wait and see what my husband wants to do too. I apologize for the light on here. There's sunlight coming in my window and I don't want to shut the curtains because it makes it too dark. Um, I hope you've been following the giveaways. Today is the last day of the giveaway, day five. We will be doing a drawing um, in the next video for the winner for day four, yesterday's giveaway for the cross stitch. And I hope you join us for that because after the giveaway spin, then I'll be showing what the giveaway is for today. This has been so much fun for me to do. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Thank you for all the wonderful comments. They mean a whole lot to me. And like I've said before, this giveaway is my way of saying thank you for subscribing and watching my channel. I appreciate that very much. And I really gave it some more thought last night. And I will be doing a giveaway every month. Um, because I just love doing it. So today's video, before we start it, if you are not a subscriber, if you could please subscribe, like the video if you like it, because that seems to make a difference with YouTube. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything in the future. You wouldn't want to miss out on a giveaway, right? Okay, what I have, I hope you love today. I hope you really love it. It is from Joy Sunday. And at their AliExpress site, at the AliExpress site is the Joy Sunday Embroidery Shop and the Joy Sunday Factory Store. What really shocked me about Joy Sunday at AliExpress is now they're doing diamond paintings too. So I'm going to show you everything I show you today is just from Joy Sunday and it's cross stitch and a diamond painting, which I don't think I've even opened. So let's get going. The first Joy Sunday kit I have for you today and the sun I apologize for um, is so pretty. Isn't it? Nature gives to every season some beauty of its own. Let's take this out of the package and take a look at it. It's a stamped kit, as you can see. Nice full instructions on the back, along with diagrams on how to stitch. Everything you would need here, except, like I say, for a pair of scissors. How to soak the canvas when you're done so you can get all the ink printing off of there. It will all come off and it will look beautiful with all your stitching. Nice reusable bag too. Great just to keep it in here while you're working on it. Let's look at the picture without that glare. So this is a partial. It'll, it won't be stitched where the white is. It's got, I believe, the four seasons here. Nature gives to every season some beauty of its own. This is an 11 count. You'll use three strands of floss, and it measures 48 by 73 centimeters. Oh, sorry about that noise. Yikes. Very simple pattern. Of course, there's going to be a whole lot of backstitching on this pattern. A whole lot. But that's how you get all the detail, right? It's totally gridded. So this is just, Joy Sunday does amazing on their patterns. This is 33 colors and four backstitch colors. I just love the way it's got all the seasons. I love this. I love the seasons. I love the season changes. Okay, let's take a look at the kit. Oh my goodness, there is a lot. A lot of floss here. Oh look, they gave us a little tool kit, which Joy Sunday doesn't always do. So we've got the thimble that's adjustable. I know I've been poking myself a bunch lately. We've got a little threader and we've got two plastic bobbins. So that's nice when that pops up suddenly and you don't know it's going to be in there. Okay. Let me just get that back in the bag. Okay, let's take a look at the canvas. So, oh my, this is big. This is really big. Let's take a measurement on this because this is 
This is big. Way bigger than I thought it would be. I don't even know if I can show you all of it. Oh, it's good size. Look how nice and clear it's printed, though. I'm just going to lift it up so you can see how clear the printing is on that. So easy to see. You know, I'm working on that Santa's Village. I started that uh, last night, that Santa's Village one that I showed you this week from Joy Sunday. And the can it's a 14-count canvas that's really, really stiff. This isn't so stiff, maybe because it's 11-count. I don't know. Okay, let's check out the size on this. So it's a little over 24 and a half inches tall. I 15 and a half inches wide. So it's good size. I mean, my goodness, it's two feet long. Let me fold it in half this way. So it gives you your product number at the top. And then it gives you your legends right here on the canvas for you to see. You just find the color on your canvas. For instance, that pink, which would be number 30 on your embroidery organizer and DMC code 3705. And that would all be stitched in that area there. All this would not be stitched. And when you soak it at the end, all these grid lines will come out. Oh, this is so pretty. So pretty. These letters are interesting too, I just noticed. So this is along the top. So you only stitch in these spots and the rest to make the, the word is all backstitching. That's really interesting. Wow. Well, by the time you finish this, you will be a pro at that backstitching, won't you? Goodness. Okay. Let's take a look at the floss. I say that too much. I apologize. Let's look at the floss. Okay, they give you, ooh, just one needle this time. It's got the item number on it. it tells you 11 count, three strands. And this doesn't have that color code on there. Sometimes they do. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we have it tells you the DMC code, the number of the floss on your pattern, and how many strands they give you. I love how they break that down. The colors are vivid. They're pretty. They're soft. I know the one I'm doing, that, that Santa's Village, the 14 count, um, the needle they gave me was small. And as I started stitching on it, I started to get a lot of fraying with my floss. So I just switched to a bigger needle than the one they gave me. It made the hole bigger as I was putting the needle through it. So then the fraying stopped and it works just fine. So sometimes you have to do that. Sometimes the needle they give you the kit is not necessarily the best one for the job. I wanted you to see that yellow. So beautiful colors. I really, really think this is going to be gorgeous. Gorgeous and pretty. Let's get that in there and move on to the next one. Just set that to the side. Okay, the next one is an angel. I thought she was beautiful. Sleeping angel, she's called. And she's round. This is also an 11 count. You do have a choice at these stores in AliExpress, the Joy Sunday stores. You can choose 11 count, 14 count. Um, sometimes now I'm noticing even 18 count. I don't recall if I was brave enough to get an 18 count. Okay, so it's got all the Joy Sunday instructions on the back, which are great. Let's look at this without the glare from the plastic. Isn't she pretty? She's so pretty. Okay, we've got the same beautiful pattern. We have 32 colors and seven backstitch colors. They have the pattern broken down into pages, so if you need to find your page, you know which one to go to. This pattern is excellent if you wanted to say you had some 
some plain uh, fabric and you wanted to use this pattern and the floss, you could not use this and just do it on any piece of fabric as long as it was big enough. Make sure you don't get this wet either. No wet hands and no drinks close by because all this ink will wash away. And if you have a problem, you refer to the pattern. So there's quite a bit of back stitching, like all her detail and her wings. Just so pretty. Such a pretty picture. All the beautiful flowers on here, the roses. Okay, let's take a quick look. Oh, my goodness, those are such pretty colors. Wow. It's got the same um, information on here. 739. Wow. Nice soft floss. Let's look at the canvas. This is pretty good size too, I'd say. Does it say the stitch count? This is 222 stitches wide by 220 stitches tall. So it is almost a perfect square. In fact, I'd probably say it is. We've got some good color blocking areas here. The confetti is not bad at all. Mm -mm. Oh, she will be gorgeous. Let's see, where's my little measure tape? Let's see what size she is. So she's just a little over 20 inches square. Um, I'm not going to measure this way because she's pretty square with the stitch count that told us the information. You've got your legend along the bottom and along the side. I love that you don't have to stitch in these areas. Oh, she's so pretty. What do you think? I just love her. She's beautiful. Such a pretty, pretty, pretty angel. And did we get, we didn't get a little toolkit with this one, but they gave us two needles instead. So that's just beautiful. I love it. I used to collect angels. I used to have so many. Okay, now I'm going to show you something different. And after that, I'm going to show you another cross stitch. So this really surprised me. I was on their web their web pages on AliExpress and I'm going through the Joy Sunday listings and all of a sudden I start seeing diamond paintings. Seriously, Joy Sunday is doing diamond paintings now. And I just thought those lavender fields were beautiful. Um, I'm really curious let me get some scissors. I can probably rip this as to why and how Joy Sunday decided to get into the diamond painting thing. But and I don't have any idea what the quality of this kit is going to be like. Oh. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Right off the bat, I can tell you that these are square drills. We'll take out a look at them a little bit closer. I do like how they're packaged. This is the toolkit. So it's just your typical wax pen, no multi placers, um, and some of those tweezers that, in my opinion, are pretty worthless. I would not use these. I've tried, and they're just too flimsy. Um, so not real thrilled with that. And looking at this, I can see that it's not port glue. It's double-sided tape. So this is going to be really, really a tight roll. Oh, what do they give us here? They give you instructions on how to diamond paint. Well, that's excellent information. And then it's in Chinese on the back. So I'm going to step that aside. You cannot roll these backwards like you do with a cord 
poured a glue canvas. You can't do that. So let's try to open it up. This was real tight. It will uncurl. I just thought this was such a pretty picture. Let's peel some of this up. This will help it lay down. Let's look at the picture again. So it's a lady working in a field. She's got her hat on with a little village in the background. So let's see what we see here. It's 45 by 35 by 40. We'll do a measurement on there too. So here's the beautiful lavender. It's nice and clear. It has a few little rivers in it, but really not many. Now you could take an exacto knife. Do you see that river there? The line. You could take an exacto knife and just make little slices in it and then push it down or just try pushing it down with a cover on and it should be fine. So 26 colors. You've got the number of your of your color over here, the symbol on the canvas and the DMC code in case you save them at the end. Oh, there's the lady working in the field there. I like this because it doesn't have a whole lot of detail, and with these smaller diamond paintings, you can lose a lot of detail um, in small. The bigger, the better. I'll try it this way, too, to try to get it flat for you. I'm just so surprised that they're doing this. I um, do think they should switch to poured blue canvases, though. So here we've got the sky in the village. Very, very, very sticky. Um, Double-sided tape is way stickier than poured glue. And especially with these drills, with poured glue, you can move them around a little bit if they're not exactly in the right spot. But with um, this, boy, you just... It's hard. Sometimes you really got to yank if you've got someone in the wrong something in the wrong space, and you want to get it out of the way. I'm just going to cover that back up again. Make sure you get it nice and flat. And let's take a look at. It's got your item number in case you run out of drills or have any problems. You need that to refer to if when you contact customer service. It's got your Come on. There we go. It's got your legend on both sides and the measurement in the picture at the bottom. Okay. We looked at the toolkit. Let's look at the drills and see what they're like. Oh, okay. They open up this way. Oh my goodness. This is nice how they have this packaged. This is really nice. I'll go down a little closer here. They have these packaged very nicely. Let's look at this purple. So it's number 23. So you will use this for symbol N on your on your canvas. And that's DMC code. Do they have that on here? No. So the DMC codes are not on the bag. The DMC code for this is 3022. Um, I would just hold on to this when you're done. And if you want to save them, refer back to your legend. But it also gives you a little color charting there. Let's take a look at these. They're very sparkly. They're nice square drills. I see a few with dimples on the back. They could possibly be popping as you go, but maybe not. So these are acrylic, acrylic drills. I don't think they're resin, but I also don't see any dirt in there. 
So it's got gorgeous colors. I mean, really, these three, these three purples. Can you imagine in that field how pretty in that lavender field these colors will make everything look? And then we've got a really dark purple here. It's all in numerical order. So four, five, three, six, two, and one. And that one was at the end. All in numerical order. Really pretty colors. Oh my goodness, look at the yellows. And the greens, exactly the kind of colors I would expect to find in lavender fields. So, so pretty. I was looking for a small one to do. And this might be pretty, just to try it out and see what their quality is like and if the drills get to popping. I am not going to put that away right now because that would just take too much time. But there you go. Joy Sunday now does diamond painting. I just wish they did it with a poured glue canvas instead of double-sided tape. But yeah, they had some pictures there that I've never seen as a diamond painting before. So definitely check it out if you're interested. And the last one I have is this beauty. This is called Oil Painting Village. I thought this was so beautiful. What a beautiful country village. This is 14 count. Two strands of floss you'll use. And it's 66 by 49 centimeters. All the directions on the back again. Okay, there's the picture without the glare. Is that gorgeous? All the colors. Oh my goodness. And this picture is a picture of I think the cross stitch because it's got it's all pixelated. It's got all the little squares all over it. Now this is good size because we got a heck of a pattern here. Very nice, typical clear Joy Sunday pattern. 45 colors. All full stitch. Yay, no back stitching with this one. There's the house. And some more of the buildings. It's 15 pages, this pattern. So thankfully, they've broken that down to page numbers. So if you need to find a section, it will be easier to find. Yeah, very, very nice. Nice and big, too. Easy to read. Now let's look at the canvas. Oh, goodness, we got another one of those little toolkits in here with the threader, the two bobbins, and the little adjustable thimble. Okay, let's look at the canvas first with this one. This is really pretty. Let me go out so you can see. Oh, can I go anymore? There we go. Look at that. This is beautiful. There is quite a bit of the confetti going on but you've got some nice areas of color blocking too let's see where did i put that measuring tape because i wanted to see what size it was i think it's underneath here we go let's see what size this is so it's 320 stitches wide by 228 high Smaller squares because it's a 14 count. I had a viewer ask me what the difference was between an 11 count and a 14 count. And I do believe it's per inch. So this would be 14 squares per inch in one of these squares, where the other one is 11 stitches per inch. Come on. All right. Let's see what size this is. It's about 22 inches wide by 16 and a quarter inches tall. So it's big, but it's not too big. It's very nicely done. 
I look for if the printing in the square is actually in the square or if it bleeds over into other squares. And it looks like this one is really nice. What do you think of this one? Isn't that beautiful? That one's so pr This is so pretty. Let's look at the floss. Ooh, so much of it. Oh, just beautiful colors. Let's see if we can go down a little closer now. Yeah. Beautiful colors of floss. So we have 40 colors. And they give you two needles. You got the nice um, organ floss organizers. Very pretty colors. Oh, so nice. And so much of it. Wow, this one will be stunning. And there's so much variety in the in the pattern. So I mean you can work on a a solid area like that. And then if you get bored, you can go work on a house or a tree or a bush or the sky. Gives you some variety. Now when you have a massive area of just one color, it can get a little boring after a while. Would I put any of these in hoops? No. I would not put them in a hoop, and I wouldn't put them in a Q-snap either. The material is so stiff, I do think it would be a fight to do it. This one is stiffer than the 11 counts were. And so it's, it's not hard to, you know, scrunch it up as you go, hold it in your hand, and just stitch away. That's kind of how I do it. I just pick an area. I usually find myself working from the outside in to the middle. What do you think of this one? I think it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So that's it for today. Joy Sunday Factory Store, Joy Sunday Embroidery, Hand Embroidery Shop. I will leave the links down below in the comments. Um, please, if you have any ideas or suggestions, send me an email or comment below and let me know. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and stay tuned. Um, for my next video today, which is going to be the day four drawing and then the day five uh, giveaway items. And then we'll have a drawing for those, I think, tomorrow. So take care. Have a wonderful Friday and I'll see you soon. Bye.